Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to free up disk space on your Windows computer where you can save a lot of disk space, especially if you're running low. You're going to follow all of these to remove tons of unnecessary space that can be deleted to get those back. So let's get started. The very first one you're going to do is go ahead into your file explorer here. And then we're going to look at our drive here. So we're going to go to this PC. And then depending on how many drives you have, you want to do it for each of them. For example, this is my main drive. So you're going to pick your main drive, like the C. And then you're going to click on Windows. And from here on, you're going to scroll until you see software distribution. And then from here on, we're going to click on Downloads. And we're going to go ahead and on our keyboard, use basically the keyboard for Control A. Control. So on your keyboard, you're going to do basically Control a so do control a and then you're gonna do shift delete and the reason why you do shift delete instead of just a regular delete is because it'll delete all of these files now you may be wondering what these files are these are basically old files when you upgraded your windows and these are not really necessary and we can delete those and then some of them might not get deleted you can just skip those we're gonna really try to delete as much as we can here and then clicking on skip for the ones that won't get deleted but this will clear up quite a bit of space so you just go through here click through skip some of the ones that don't want to get deleted that's fine we'll just go through it for the most part the ones that we're deleting we're going to free up a lot of space here so i click on skip each time and it can delete quite a bit here so let's go ahead and okay so once you have done that the next place we want to go ahead is we're going to do go into the run window again. So this time you're going to go over here, just type in run or Windows R. You're going to open up the run program. So we can do Windows R when you use them or just search up run here. And then here, when you bring up the run menu, there's a couple things we want to run. First is temp. We're going to click on temp. And these are temporary files that aren't really necessary. Same thing. We'll do control A on our keyboard and shift delete and then we're going to delete this file and then we're going to do as much as it can get deleted and then skip the ones that won't get deleted and then close that out same thing open up run again and this time we're going to go ahead and type in prefetch so prefetch click ok again same thing control a and then shift delete and then we're going to delete all of these that are going to be necessary as well and then next thing you want to do is run again go into the search bar open up the run again and one more time and this time we're going to do is ws reset so you're going to type in that in hit ok and what that is going to do is basically reset your microsoft store cache so it happens really fast it'll open up microsoft store and then once it opens up and that run closes, it already has done it for us. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for this to complete. So be patient as that process happens. Now after you have done that, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead into disk cleanup. So we're going to click on disk cleanup. And then we're going to select the disk. So we're going to select the C disk. OK. And basically all of these are temp cleanup files that we don't need. We can select all of them here and just remove these to free up more space. These are unnecessary files. We're gonna permanently delete and clean our disk to give us more storage that can be freed up. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do is, again, open up the run one more time here. And this time, in the run window, you're gonna search up app whiz, app whiz dot cpl hit OK and basically it's going to open up all the programs that are installed on your computer and then you can see the storage that they take up by here by clicking on this you can size it by the storage and you can see a lot of the, there might be big applications that maybe you don't completely use if there is one for example you want to go ahead and tap on it right click and uninstall and you want to go down the list especially if you have uh, tons of unnecessary programs application that you don't need you want to go through each of them and delete it and that's going to free up a lot of storage as well now after you have done that the next thing to do is basically open up your file explorer 
and you're gonna have to manually go through each type of files that you have so if you have downloads right you want to delete stuff in the download same exact process each time you'll do control a and then shift delete if you don't want all of these it'll get deleted or manually delete the edge of them documents photos and videos if you happen to have a ton of photos and videos you want to review you those and delete them individually same with music and videos as well this will ensure that you have basically deleted things that take up space for example these take up space I go ahead and click right click so I could select multiple and then do a right a right click here and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete them clicking on the trash icon right here or you can select a and then shift or delete and it'll go to delete now you're gonna follow this step now the final thing you're gonna do is open up your recycle bin we're gonna and empty that recycle bin so this might have a ton of stuff that's just sitting there in your recycle bin we're gonna go ahead and empty those to permanently delete them and clean that out and by now you should see a ton of free space that's been freed up on your disk and I hope this video was helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your one disk computer we'll see you guys next time